Okay, today we're going to look at how we obtain the CAMG uh, Simulink interface to give us a model in the um, block diagram form using the state space uh, matrices so that we can do simulations with it. So we are going to go here and we say, okay, this is the example that we have in here. We're going to start over here. And I think that it would be a good idea we start from from scratch in here. Um, let's see. Um, we have, oops, sorry, we need to do the drawing here. Race. And then we're going to keep that up here so that we we can choose the different colors. So here's the model that we are going to use it in the example in here. And here we're going to do, first of all, the, um, the bond graph model so that we have one uh, model to go here. This is the C element. We have in here the um, uh, I element over here. And then you have a voltage source, a C on this, and in here you have this mm, I element also. And in the middle, you know, you have this in here like this, this is a zero. And this is the model that you guys have uh, used in the past as well. But right now, let's set up what's our objective. So that we have some direction where we're going. Our objective is um, USA to generate a block diagram in Simulink. Okay. That uses the state space form. So that means the A and B and C and D matrices. And then, um, and then you may say objective number two, use it to, um, to generate the step response. That way we know what we know what we're doing. That's where we are going. So why don't we go over here and we say all programs, and then we're going to enter this um, model that you that we have in there into the CAMG software. So we have in here, and then we have this new. So. That in here we go and keep this as a window so that we can actually so I'll put the one on one side and the other on the other side so that we can actually enter this in here so uh, I just put this over here and then I go mm -hmm. over here to one and then we go to I element in here like this and then we have the zero and then we have this R element in here and then we put this one and then finally this I element like this 
and then you have the C element on the right hand side and we are about we are done with the entering the model in here so so that we have the um, the model in, in our notes let me first uh, do a little uh, you know cut using my sniffing tool and put it in the notes over here there it is so this is the uh, this is the model that we have used in in the CAMG software so now let's see how come it looks funny on the left Huh? Well, let me see. <coughs> Maybe it needs to come up in here. There you go. Okay, so this is uh, our system in here. We need to define the outputs. So we are going to put in here. Um, let's just go here. It says we need to we need to define what the outputs are, and so let's let's uh, make sure that we have an understanding here. We could say that this voltage here on this capacitor is one of the, and we could say how about the current here? This this I one. Well, of course, this was I2 here, but let's say that um, voltage B sub C and I1. But in the bond graph notation, in this graph, can you tell me which variables those are? Huh? This, this would be v E7, right? Yeah. And what is this I I one here? That is the flow number two, right? So these are our output variables. Now, what we need to do is if we go uh, back to the Cam G software here, and we say, okay, do file new. No, no, it's not file new. <laughs> big, mis <laughs> big mistake. Just click open and should get it back. Uh-huh. Open. File open. Uh, we need a session file is what we need. <coughs> See, that was a interesting. We need to recover from my own mistake. Oh, no. <laughs> this is the yeah, previous no. one. This was the previous one, so uh, now what we need to do is to, <laughs> we really need to do it again. Um, okay, one of those little things in here that we have. Uh, so we'll just do it the real quick. So this is, is E and then 1. I think when you say new, it, it automatically eliminates anything that you have currently. So that's so that was that was what the problem is. And then you have from here to here. Then we have the zero like this, and you had this one in here. And then one, which was in here like this, and then you have the C element. Uh, and then we have the I element. Do I have the numbers right? No, you gotta do your R before you see. Huh? You gotta do your your eyes. Okay. So I'm just gonna do this. Um, is this okay? Yeah. yeah, okay. So now, what I was saying is go to Simulink now. Okay? And then, 
just going to put this one as a window in here. This two. Mm -hmm. And then let's see wh where is my um, new link uh, interface. And then this is going to go to MATLAB here. So MATLAB and CAMG will negotiate an interface right now. There it is. Okay. And so we'll wait for a second in here. And at this point, what we need to do is to, first of all, analyze what the program gave us and then relate to this model. So we might need to make some adjustments to, m to make it, uh, you know, that it matches our model in here. So we're still waiting and um, the CAMG Simulink interface will produce now a couple of files that, first of all, it will initialize the, the system. There you go. So it produces the the system in here um, in a state space form, and in here it gives you these two files, the camg ini and the camg num. So in here, uh, let me just make it so that everybody can can see with a um, um, nicer, a larger font. So let me put this in here, and then this over here really works well. Now everybody can see. So if we have in here, this file is to initialize those matrices A, B, C, D, C. So if in Simulink, you need to enter numbers, because um, not like in MATLAB, will produce with symbols unless the now the symbols are initialized so in here we'll initialize this maybe i think what's a three in here and then this is a five this is a two like this and then this a um, one over 40 i think it was Yeah, but you see, where are you getting those numbers from? You're just making them up. Yeah, just put some numbers to get them going. Now you see, if you go down the file, it has the equations in there of the system right there. <laughs> okay, but giving if I run this, it will produce only the um, A and B matrices. But we better have our, uh, you know, the binoculars in here. What was the outputs that we had? E so the first output is E sub 7, and then what? Uh, that's R7. E7. Okay, so this is E. Oh, what I put R7 is E7. Okay, there it is. So you need, like we did before, you need to activate this because what we are doing now is defining what the outputs are. And then you have in here one. And then the other one what was F2, right? Yeah, this is F, F2, there we go, and this is our second output, so we need to activate this also, and then this is uh, number two, and then this is two in here, yeah, so now 